3D documentary channels are blowing up right now, but most people quit because Blender just feels impossible. Including me, I almost did too. Until I found these five AI tools that make cinematic 3D scenes in minutes without years of editing. Just like this. She had just finished her shift and never made it home. By morning, her car had become a crime scene, but the headlines only told half the story. The victim was no ordinary citizen. She was the daughter of a famous singer. Her death added to a growing surge of homicides in the area. Detectives began piecing together the clues, and one figure stood out. According to sources, the suspect traveled from California to New York. That trail ended here, at a rundown hotel hiding dark secrets. So the first thing you guys want to do is to find your animation style, create a prompt, then make scenes from those images that you can later convert into videos. In the past, I made videos using animation style that's kind of like Jack D films or more of a classic 3D animated character. By the way, if you guys want to use those exact prompts to create those same animation styles, I will have the link in the description down below. But if you guys want something a little bit more realistic, like the style Fern uses on his YouTube channel, all you guys have to do is to take a quick screenshot of their scenes within one of their videos, just like this, then you could upload that screenshot to JatGPT and say this. Please analyze this image and describe the animation slash art style in detail, including character design, textures, material, lighting, and overall mood. Then rewrite that description as a broad, reusable text to image prompt without mentioning specific people or characters. So I could generate new images that look like they belong in the same style. And once you guys have that prompt, you guys could copy and paste it back into the chat box. Then you can just follow up by saying, generate me an image of a boy on a skateboard in front of a home. And this is just to test it out if the prompt actually works. And before you guys know, you guys will get a result exactly what you guys wanted. You could use the same method to get pretty much any style of animation from stop motion to stick figures or anything in between. The possibilities are endless with this, but now you guys want to generate images for every scene of your video, just like these images that I have here. Then you will need to take those images and turn them into videos where the characters actually move in between scenes and the camera angles flow so naturally. But before we get to that, there are two very important things we need to cover. These 3D documentaries use more than just animations. They have great motion graphics that looks super high budget and cool aerial footage. But if you guys loving these type of tools and want to actually go viral using them, I put together a free YouTube growth secrets community where I break down everything that I learned from scaling multiple channels. This is how I generated over 23 million views and 100,000 subscribers on just one of my channels. And I packed it all into a community with actionable templates, courses and live calls and so much more so you guys could do the same this is just proven strategies that i put together it's completely for free for you to access just click the link in the description down below okay so one of the most difficult things to master when making these documentaries is the motion graphics this often makes just people just shy away from editing in general but there are great ai tools out there that could help you create this polished and realistic graphics within seconds the first one i want to share is paper animator it's responsible for creating a scene that looks like this. Simply just go to paperanimator.com. The link will be in the description down below. Click on text match cut. And on the right side, you guys could choose a dark theme or a background style. In this case, I'm gonna select newspaper. Then just type in your text here and instantly you guys will have this professional looking scene. Unfortunately, Paper Animator only gives you guys this option of effects. But if you guys want to head over to Hera.ai and click on templates, you guys will find a full library of customizable newspaper effects. For example, I selected a Vox style sequence and I get to change the text around and images and so much more. Beyond that, Hera AI also offers different types of templates with charts that you guys could edit around and rename things to make it match what you're going for. But my favorite feature is actually the maps. You could customize them in any way you guys want. I love typing in California to New York and watch it animate the route, which is amazing this alone is transforming the whole entire field of animation and video editing the downside to hera ai is that they are currently on a waiting list and it's pretty tough to get in i know some people waiting months and they still haven't got in but luckily you watching this video right now you guys will get an exclusive link that gives you guys instant access plus a 50 percent off discount code when you click the link in the description down below and it also helps support this channel and every single bit of support goes a long way in helping us make videos just like these.
Awards. To add realism and give your project more of a true documentary feel, you guys want to mix in some real footage in there, especially when it comes to aerial footage. And you do this by heading over to Google Earth Studio. On the homepage, click on Try Google Earth Studios in the top right hand corner. They don't accept everyone, but if you include your name, email, and mention that you're a YouTube creator, you should be fine. I got accepted right away. And once you're in, you have to create a blank project. You can't scroll in and out, but to actually use it, click on attributes in the left hand corner. This adds a keyframe so it could track your screen. And from there, it's pretty simple. Just zoom in, add keyframe, zoom in even more, add another keyframe, and just move around and move to the new location while adding keyframes. Repeat this as much times as needed. And the detail to this is actually incredible. Honestly, I think this is better than Hera AI for the small details. But when you're done, click on render, select video MP4 and hit submit and give it a few moments and you'll get a MP4 file sent to your email ready to use. Now, if you made it this far into video, it's time to turn the images that you generated in the start of the video into videos. So you guys gotta pay super close attention to this. The first thing you guys need to do is head over to Luma.ai and pretty much you could just use any text to video platforms out there. I prefer Luma because it's affordable. So once you're there, just drag and drop the frame you guys want. Then describe the motion. What I personally like about Luma is that it lets you guys choose the camera angle. In this case, I would like to do a push in on the woman sitting inside the car. By the way, I want to let you guys know it's very common between these video generators that it doesn't get it perfect 100% of the time. You guys will need to test it a little bit more. For example, the vehicle here was moving and there was an extra weird looking arm on the steering wheel. So I just type in make the car part and not moving and move her hand from the steering wheel. And within a couple of seconds, it gives me this result. It even generated a face for the mannequin, which I wasn't going for it, but I actually prefer it. It actually looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna keep it. It's not 100% perfect, but I'm just gonna use the first couple seconds of this clip either way. The next scene is the crime scene of the vehicle. I just upload the image, set the camera angle to pull out. And I have to say this first generation is actually looks pretty solid, pretty impressed. So now that you guys got the idea of how this works, just repeat this process for each scene. And lastly, you guys want to put everything together in your editing software of choice. You guys can use CapCuts, but for this example, I'm using DaVinci Resolve. You could add a voiceover. I recommend using 11 Labs since their voices are the most realistic out there and they don't really sound robotic like most generic AI ones do. And once you have that, you will need to add some music. I actually got mine from Envato Elements. I have this paid subscription for it, which has this great selection of music to choose from you can search what mood you want and there you have it and that's it your project is done she had just finished her shift and never made it home by morning her car had become a crime scene but the headlines only told half the story the victim was no ordinary citizen she was the daughter of a famous singer her death added to a growing surge of homicides in the area detectives began piecing together the clues and one figure stood out according to sources the suspect traveled from California to New York. That trail ended here at a rundown hotel hiding dark secrets. And if you're someone that wants to learn how to make money with YouTube, it's never been so easy with the power of AI. I created a list of eight easy AI faces niches that will make you rich in 2025. You could watch that right here.